good cup of tea. Whammin sure do know how to brew a cup of tea. It is, in fact, International Whammin's Day. I think we should do a special video to celebrate all the magnificent things that Whammin bring to our lives. We must cherish the Whammin. We must worship the Whammin. We must bathe the Whammin. We must love the Whammin. We must miss the Whammin. We must put up with the Whammin. We must worship the Whammin. I think I said that one twice, actually, but you should just do that one twice just to have an easy life. But yeah, what else? I'm really drawing a blank here, to be quite frank with you. We must engage with the Whammin. We must support the Whammin. We must make sure there are more Whammin in STEM. We must do the chores for the Whammin. We must do everything for the Whammin. Because the Whammin are the greatest thing to ever happen to planet Earth. Everything is because of Whammin. Whammin are the greatest. Men are insignificant and they don't deserve their own day like Whammin do. International Whammin's Day. What a great day for the human spirit, the human heart, the human mind. To be reminded of all of the great things that Whammin do every day. And we sometimes just don't appreciate it as men, you know. So here's to International Whammin's Day. And to celebrate this and to show a powerful statement, every single M I write today, I'm going to actually write it upside down. So it represents a W for Whammin. So now more Whammin can be seen. I'm just not really going to tell anyone though, so everyone's going to think I'm a fucking lunatic. If you think that's fucking stupid, you should also see what McDonald's is doing, because yes... McDonald's is flipping the M upside down to make a W, but it's not really a W, it's an upside down M, and they haven't told anyone, they're also doing it on their shirts as well, so everyone's going to think that their people are wearing upside down shirts that aren't really upside down, and then they're going to start asking, why have you got a fucking upside down M on your shirt, and then they're going to say, well I've got, a, I've got a W on my shirt actually for Whammin's Day, so what's it going to say, Work McDonald's, what is it, McDonald's, Work Donald's, Work Donald's, welcome to Work Donald's. <laughs> Wok Donalds. <laughs> Here's the Asian McDonald's. Wok Donalds. This will be happening in about 100 stores nationwide in America. You know, it's a product of their chief diversity officer, Wendy Lewis. I mean, is this all that whammin are worth? All you know, oh, the great things that whammin do. And McDonald's is just going to turn 100 M's upside down. <laughs> oh, shit. It's quite funny, actually. <laughs> How to send a powerful statement now. We just uh, confuse the fuck out, people. But here is their statement regarding the uh, special, powerful Whammin's Day statement. For the first time in our brand history, we flipped our iconic arches that must then be M for man or M for men. So then they're sort of flipping the men and putting women on top. That obviously didn't go for their heads, mind you. For International Women's Day, in honour of the extraordinary accomplishments of women everywhere, and especially in our restaurants that we pay fuck all. Right, the last bit wasn't in there, but take note. You have to think to yourself, how did they arrive at this decision to uh, celebrate women? Can you imagine... The bald meeting that was had. What can we do, everyone? What can we do? What can we do? You know, I don't know. Do we do a little, do a collection? You know, you know. Do we do some special artwork or something? Oh shit! We've got an M. Kind of represents men, doesn't it? A fucking patriarchy. Let's flip it on his head. That'd be the most powerful statement we can make ever. Yeah. Or this is a massive troll job. And there was just some fucking patriot in the background. Like, um, great idea here, folks. Uh, you see that M? It kind of sounds for men. Let's flip that M on his head and go W for the women. Fuck me sideways. We must celebrate the women. 
Celebrate the women. Thank you.